Alright guys, so now that we have our API configured, ready to go, the first thing I think that we should do is actually make that link or the button or whatever you want to have so they can click on it because right now our little program is looking pretty empty. So let's go ahead and do that. So outside of your PHP, just make a simple HTML5 file. And HTML. HTML, you don't even really need a head, just the body. Alright, so basically the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to have one link and it's going to say login and whenever, whenever they click it, they're going to log into Instagram and it's going to do everything for them. So of course, yours is going to be part of a website or something, a little more complex, but I just want to show you guys the real uh, basic way of doing it right now. So make a link, a href, leave this blank for now. and it's gonna say log in and this href or the address that you want to send them to is actually very specific and um, you need to code this in a very certain kind of way so it's https colon api dot instagram dot com slash o a u t h slash authorized and basically what this link is is it Instagram said okay anytime you go to this link we're gonna give you a piece of information that allows you to authorize your account so that's all this is doing so anyways put author authorize in the question mark and put client ID that's the first parameter and for right now just set it equal to XXX and we'll fill those in later now the second parameter, redirect underscore URI, and we'll just go ahead and set this equal to XXX2. And the last parameter, of course you separate them with a, um, an ampersand, is the response underscore type, and set this equal to code. This is actually always gonna be equal to code. I don't even know if you can possibly set it equal to anything else so I, I really don't know even know why the API has it in there but of course what's gonna happen is whenever they click log in then we're gonna send them to this address right here but we need to pass in a couple parameters the first one being our client ID which is this so in order to do that you just code PHP right in there and you just echo it up echo out your client ID and of course since it's not a variable it's a constant you do not need any um, dollar signs or anything like that and I'll show you guys the result of this in a second and this is actually supposed to be URI alright so basically right now we have a boring website with a link on it and hopefully um whenever well I'll show you guys instead of just refresh this and upload it and now if we go to index.php and hit enter we see that we get a very basic login link and if we inspect this element we can see that the client ID is indeed our client ID and even though it doesn't say it our client ID is our client ID and our redirect URI is the proper thing. Now whenever we click this, check it out. Well, let me just go ahead and uh, I'm already actually logged in. But typically what it would do is it would say this. So you clicked it and it takes you here. And if you're already logged in, well, that's what it does. And it allows you to enter your information. Now if you enter it improperly, like I'm just banging letters right now, and click log in, then it says, okay, try again. Nice try. So I'm going to enter it in properly and click log in. And what it's going to do now is it says, okay, this is the authoriz authorization code that I was talking about. And once you click this, it's going to take you to that. Let me see if I can get it. This redirect URI right here, which is index.php. As you can see, 
that's where it redirected you to but now what it does is it gives you this little bit of code right here so you're like all right bucky why the heck did it give me this code and what can i do with it well that's a very good question and in the next tutorial i'm gonna be i hate when people drive past when i'm making a freaking tutorial but anyways in the next tutorial i'm gonna be answering those questions and you guys are gonna find it quite interesting so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you then